Kingdom. Today we are here to celebrate the arrival of a visiting royal, Crown Princess Elena of Avalon. And here to usher in the joyful festivities are Avalon's royal singers. of Avalor. Right. Estamos muy contentos de presentar a la nueva miembro de la familia de Disney, Princesa Elena de Avalor. I'm sure by now that many of you are already following the adventures of Crown Princess Elena and her family on the Disney Channel. In doing so, you know that this Disney princess is a special an inspiring teenager who is learning how to rule her kingdom. And this morning we have two special guests who embody the values of Elena. Please join me in welcoming the Executive Vice President of Original Programming and General Manager of Disney Junior, Nancy Cantor, and the CEO of Girl Scouts of Citrus, Mary Ann Berry. <laughs> As you may know, Elena made her TV debut on Disney Channel last month, and I'm thrilled to announce that we are going to continue her adventures in a second season. You know, when we think about Elena's leadership qualities, we know she's compassionate, courageous, collaborative, and thoughtful. And when we think about an organization that leads the way in developing girls with these very same qualities, we think about the Girl Scouts of the USA. And we cannot imagine a better organization to help us inspire girls to become leaders just like Crown Princess Elena. So we are very excited to have the Girl Scouts here with us today to celebrate. Thank you, Nancy. On behalf of the entire Girl Scout movement, we are thrilled to be welcomed by the Walt Disney Company, a leader in creating magical stories with inspiring messages for children and families. Take a look around, kids. Here we are at the Magic Kingdom. Does it get any better than this? It does not. We are here today to award the very first Elena of Avalor Scepter of Light Award. This award recognizes a Girl Scout who has demonstrated an exceptional commitment to community service through her Girl Scout Award project. 
Gold Award recipients are girls at, who at every stage are prepared to practice a lifetime of leadership, like a go-getter, an innovator, a risk taker, I see one of you out there, and a leader. We have found an extraordinary leader in Citrus Council. Her project had a STEM or science, technology, engineering, and math, as most of you know. Focus, yay for STEM. The program she created, Project Code, brings learning resources to classrooms. She wanted to ensure that girls everywhere have access to information to pursue a future career in STEM. You gonna do it, girls? And we were so inspired by her Gold Award project, and we're pleased to announce that this year's recipient of the Elena of Avalar Scepter of Light Award and Scholarship is Ashley Chico. <laughs> our festivities off with. And now, please welcome their royal highnesses, Princess Cinderella and Prince Charming. Hello, dear friends. Welcome, one and all. We are honored to have you as guests in our kingdom. Oh, yes, and this is a very special day. For today, we are delighted to introduce a royal visitor from the faraway land of Avalor. We've never been to Avalor, but we have heard tales of this kingdom's magic and adventures. And their daring princess and leader. Please join us in extending a very warm welcome to Crown Princess Elena of Avalor. <laughs> It sure is. We have enchanted creatures who soar high in the sky. 
I have a magical scepter. And then there's Zuzo, my spirit fox. He always keeps an eye on me, but I never know where he'll pop up next. <laughs> well, Avalor sounds like a very exciting place. A kingdom a princess can be proud of. It's not always easy, but as crown princess, I swore to protect and defend Avalor. Well, I know you will be wonderful, as long as you believe in yourself and in your dreams. I do. And with my familia and best friends by my side, anything is possible. Oh, we would love to hear more about your adventures. Of course. Well, if there's one thing my grandfather Francisco taught me, it's that music is a great way to tell stories. Thank you. And here's mine. so weird having my feet on the ground. It's been a while since I've been walking around. With my own eyes I can once again see. My dream has come true. I am free. Yeah. 